Hey guys, today we're talking about another important P6 setting. It's called Drive Activity Dates by Default. This is a project level setting and it's kind of misunderstood. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how you should set that field and what it does in Primavera P6. Let's do it. Okay, I've got a project selected here and we're looking at the bottom half of the screen and the resources tab. So here's the setting that I'm talking about, this checkbox that says drive activity dates by default. Should I check it on? Should I check it off? And what is it all about? Let me explain. This is a resource level setting. In fact, you can find the same setting on the resource assignment level in P6. Let's go see what that looks like. Okay, so I've got a project open and I've got an activity highlighted here and I've kind of customized my columns a little bit to make this work for us. But here is that checkbox as well, drive activity dates. So at a resource level, I can control whether that resource assignment is going to drive the activity dates. What does that mean? Well, let me show you exactly what it means. It means that the duration and the start and finish dates of the assignment actually drive the duration and the dates of the activity. So the dates and durations of the activity and the assignment are coupled together, but it's possible to unlink them. And this is where, you're, where you'll see what this does. So if I unlink uh, or uncheck drive activity dates, what happens now is that this duration can actually grow to be bigger. It's unlinked from the activity duration. See the activity duration is still 36, but now I can have a resource assignment that's actually longer than the activity duration or shorter if you want. So it could be say only 20 days of the 36 total. And the other thing that's unlinked is if we expand here and show the start and finish dates, you'll see that I'm starting on January 20th and ending in March 12th. Again, it's an old project but I can actually end this assignment outside of the activities dates as well. So the activity assignment or the resource assignment can be outside of the activities dates. This is kind of weird. Um, so I'm not sure why we would want a resource assignment to be working on an activity, but outside the activities duration or outside the activities dates. So typically we want this checked on. And if we come back to the project level setting, this says drive activity dates by default. So that means that whenever I make an assignment, whenever I assign a resource, let's by default check that drive dates checkbox on, okay? And I can just demo that for you here. Let's go to this other activity here. And if I assigned a new resource, any resource, uh, it doesn't really matter, but you'll see that the checkbox is on by default. Okay, so that's what that's all about. So my recommendation to you is that you should always have this setting checked on. It should be a default that all of your resource assignments, their durations and their start and finish dates link up with the activity duration and the activity start and finish dates. I hope that explains it and has peeled back the layer a little bit further for you on what this Primavera P6 setting is all about. If you wanna see more of these P6 setting videos, they're posted here on our YouTube channel. If you wanna check out some of our advanced training courses, make sure you check out planacademy.com. I'm Michael, I'll see you soon.